It's been a few years since the last Comic-Con back in 2023, and this year Comma AI came back strong with new hardware, new ideas, and a renewed sense of direction. And since this was my first Comic-Con, I wasn't totally sure what to expect, but the event absolutely delivered. The vibe in San Diego was genuinely positive. Between the crowd and the comma staff, you could tell people were curious and excited, especially after weeks of comma teasing in their marketing that something tiny is coming. So the room was definitely primed for a big announcement, and the event really delivered on that expectation. And just a heads up, I've linked all the talk videos from the event down in the description below so you can watch every presentation for yourself in full. One of the biggest moments of the entire show, and honestly, maybe one of the funniest as well, came right at the start of Adib's talk, which was called Oh Shit and the Sale. He got up on stage, pulled up his first slide, and before he even had a chance to start speaking, accidentally flashed images of the new comma four. Now, I genuinely thought it was planned, uh, but no, totally unintentional. George even admitted later during lunch that Adib didn't mean to reveal it that early, though the whole room seemed to love it, and again, I thought it was all part of the show. Once that happened, though, Adib totally leaned into it and walked everyone through Kama's evolution, from scrappy early prototypes like the Kama Neo to much more polished production-ready devices like the Kama 4. He talked about reducing the internal part count, simplifying assembly, and completely redesigning the chassis for better thermal performance. Not because the processor changed, the Kama 4 still uses the Snapdragon 845 family, though it's now the 845 Max but because the new physical design manages heat better and is much easier to manufacture. Adib even said that the Kama 4 is the first device he feels truly hits the level of a consumer electronic, and seeing it up close, I can absolutely see why. Kama also showed off the new Body 2, a $200 robotics platform aimed directly at the toy market. The idea for this is simple. Just make something affordable, get it out to as many people as possible, and let the community figure out creative ways to use it. It's smaller, simpler, and way more accessible than the original body. It's perfect for hobbyists, educators, or really anyone who wants to experiment with robotics and embedded AI. Along with the body too, it was the brand new Kama Compute, which is a 100 watt eGPU compatible with the Kama 3, 3X, and the Kama 4. It's designed to run much larger driving models than the current devices can handle on their own. And Kama had a few of them on display and talked about eventually offering both ready-made kits and build-your-own case options. Between Body 2 giving people a fun entry point into robotics and the Kama Compute unlocking big model performance across multiple devices, it does really feel like Kama is building out a complete ecosystem. The Sunny Pilot team also had a strong presence there too. They had a table where they showed off a new web-based settings manager that lets you remotely adjust settings on the Comma 3X and the upcoming Comma 4, I would assume, which is a huge quality of life improvement. And they also confirmed something a lot of people were excited to hear, that Navigate on Sunny Pilot is coming back to the Sunny Pilot fork soon. No exact dates yet, but I'm hoping within the next month or two. Another major highlight for me was George's talk, Outwit, Outplay, Outlast. He talked about how Kama has continued to survive and even grow, while so many of their self-driving competitors have burned through billions of dollars and eventually disappeared. One of the most compelling points he made was about what it actually means to succeed in this industry. His take is that succeeding is simply surviving. If you can stay lean, stay focused, and keep shipping real working products, you're already ahead of organizations that often implode under their own weight. Hearing that live, especially at my first Comic-Con, really helped put things into perspective. Overall, this Comic-Con felt like a milestone. Comma 4 brings maturity. Body 2 brings accessibility. The new Comma Compute brings a lot more power. And the community felt stronger than ever. So not a bad first Comic-Con. If this is where Comma is heading, 2026, I think is going to be pretty incredible. Thanks for watching and be sure to like, subscribe, and check out the description below for links to every talk from the event. And let me know down in the comments what part of this Comic-Con were you most excited about. And just a quick note, I've already got a Comma 4 on order. I'll be posting a lot more videos about it as soon as it arrives, especially as it pertains to Rivian compatibility and Sunny Pilot support. So stay tuned, there's a lot of good stuff coming. As always, I appreciate your support for the channel. Thanks for watching and enjoy the drive.